Hi, I'm Barb. Welcome to my craft studio. Today is my vlog and it's going to be on my reading challenge for February. Today I'm going to talk about my February reading. I take part in the Goodreads reading challenge. I will try to remember to link my Goodreads page down in the information thing. I'm also taking part in a couple of other reading challenges. I created one in my Nora J.D. Robb group. Um, and I also am doing some from the Book Girls Guide. They have three different ones. They have the Lifetime of Reading decades and the book voyage so i'll try to tell you if any of these books that i've read fit in some of them i just have a photo of because i borrowed i either had a digital one or i just borrowed a digital one from the library so they've already been returned and obviously i didn't have a physical book but um the first book i read in february was the great gatsby this one was part of the lifetime of reading which this month was from no, that wasn't lifetime of reading. That was from the decades, which this this year this month's decade was the twenties, so the Great Gatsby fit in there. Fred S. Scott Fitzgerald. I may have read this in high school. It seems like we read it one of one year. It was a required reading, but I hadn't I didn't really remember it, so I read it again. This one was the lifetime of reading, I believe. Yeah, the girl with the louding voice. And this month's prompt was a book with a teenager as the protagonist. Now this one, I will be honest, I had trouble reading it because it's told by the girl who doesn't speak real good English or English is broken. So I had a hard time reading it. I started having... Um, Alexa read it to me and I enjoyed it a lot more when I had her read it so I just let her read most of the book to me um, it was a good book and I think sometimes it's good to read stories like this because I don't think we realize how fortunate we are in our country to I mean, now that it's perfect there's things that can improve but we are so much luckier than so many others um, this one, the third one I read, this was a reread. Um, this is Jewels of the Sun. It's book one of the, what do they call it? The Gallagher's of Ardmore. Ardmore, not probably don't pronounce that right, but, um, this one took care of I think which one I ended up doing it. Oh no, I didn't use this one as a reading prompt. I ended up not using it. But it would have worked for a satin Ireland book. I'll probably use one of the other books in the trilogy as part of it. This one is book number... Yeah, that was book three. This is book four for the month. Catherine of Aragon, The True Queen by Allison Weir. It's a, part, of, part of the Six Tudor Queens series. I enjoyed it. I, I like reading books set in that time period. And I do think she did very thorough research. Um, reading, whenever I read a book that's based upon two people, I tend to do a little re research. It makes me want to learn more about that 
either time period or the people or whatever. And reading, doing some of that, she really researched it and I can say everything was 100%, but she did bring in some facts that I never knew before. So it was kind of, um, I enjoyed it. I, I like those books set in the past like that. It's just one of my things. I like historical fiction. This one, I believe, took care of my book voyage, Read Around the World. Oh, I put down Jewels of the Sun for that, for Ireland. But this one also would have worked because it was set in England. I'm pretty sure that was one of the countries listed, so I actually had two that would fit. Jewels of the Sun I did use for the book voyage. Um, book number five was also set in the 20s. It was Blind Tiger by Sandra Brown. Um, it's, I'm finding I'm enjoying reading some of the ones set in different decades and things. So, N not that fictional books are 100% accurate, but it does kind of give you a feel for it. And if you go do a little research afterwards, you can kind of see what they changed and what they didn't. So, I kind of enjoy that. That one also would have worked for my Decades Challenge, but book number six was Abandoned in Death by J.D. Robb. This one I used for my Nora, J.D. Robb, um, Facebook group. The prompt I used it for was In Death. For that one, my challenge, I just gave 12 prompts and I let the people participating choose what month they wanted to do what what prompt. I know for me, most of them are rereads, so because unless it's a brand new book by Nora, which this one, by this one was the baby Rob one. This was a brand new book. It just came out this month. Um, number seven was Halfway to Free by Emma Donahue. This one is an Amazon Prime Part of the if you're if you go on to Amazon Prime they have books that you can borrow for free. You're allowed to have I think I want to say it's ten titles. I'm not hundred percent on that. Out at a time and when you return one you can get another one. Um, I have a few that I've had for quite a while. But they also sometimes will let you know they change out but if so this one won't be available anymore but if you already have it in your library you can read it before you return it. Um, this one was a real short story. I'm filling in with these ones for a couple reasons. I'm also doing a Kindle. I don't have a Kindle, but I have the Kindle app on my iPad reading challenge. And I'm trying to read a little every day to keep my streak going. But when I read this type of book, or if I listen to an audio book that I borrowed from the library, it doesn't count towards my Kindle reading. So, um, so I try to read like a short story while I'm, when I'm reading this to keep my streak going. Book number eight was Romancing Mr. Bridgerton by Julia Quinn. I think this was book four in the Bridgerton series, if I remember correctly. I started reading those because of reading, um, because of watching the Richardsons on the Netflix, the Netflix series. I'm not 100% on that. I get my streaming services mixed up. <laughs> Trayvon, 10 years later, was book number nine by Sabrina. I think it's his mother. I remember right. Um, it was another Amazon Prime short story. It just, it just breaks your heart. It basically, it was just walking down the street and was shot and killed because somebody was afraid of him because of his skin color. That's just, it's just sad. Book number 10 was The Guest List by Lucy Foley. This one was an audio book, which I think was why I was reading this one. It was because my audio, the audio books that I borrow from the library, they don't open in the Kindle app, so they don't count towards your Kindle reading. Um, 
This is another short story from Amazon Prime. It's Bear Witness by Mary Gatskill. And it says something that I don't know this one is about. Some of those short story ones from Amazon are really good and other ones not so much. Thankfully they're short. So book number 12 was Finding Frasier by Casey Dwyer. This one was kind of a it's fan fiction of the Outlander series. She, the main character, takes a trip to Ireland to try to find her Jamie Fraser. <laughs> but. And then book number 13 was Feels Like Family by Cheryl Woods. This is book number three of the Steel Magnolia series. So. Now my favorite book for the month was Abandoned in Death. I'm not sure which one was my least favorite. It was probably one of the short stories from Amazon. But I don't, some of them, it was probably either Halfway to Free or Bear Witness. I'm thinking Bear Witness, but I'm not 100% because I don't remember either one real well. I'd have to go read a description of what they were about in order to remember that. But that's, I, I read 13 books again this in February, which was pretty good because February is a short month. I've already gotten one done for March, so I'm doing good. I need to update my 2022 reading list because I haven't put my March books in yet. So I need to get that. I need to try to get that done today and update my lo different logs from that. Um, do you participate in any reading challenges or do you enjoy reading? Um, my sister says, how can you read so many books? I said, well, some of those are really short. She goes, but still, I said, no, no, I'm talking like, like the Amazon Prime short stories are like a magazine article short. <laughs> I said, but I use those to keep my street going in the Kindle app. And I also figure those short stories, I mean, that those count the same as if you read a thousand page book. This one, I don't, this month, I don't think I had any quite that long. The Catherine of Aragon one, I think, was pretty long, but like, but last month I read an Outlander book, and those ones are exceptionally long if you ever read one. But I did read, a, I think, a few of them were at least 300, 400 pages. I don't think I had any much, much longer than that. There might have been, might have been a little bit, and not, I don't think I had any, had any that hit 500. Um, but that's my reading challenge for February. I, I'm enjoying reading more again. I, I try to, like I said, I'm trying to read a little bit at least every day. Some days I read more than others. Like I said, um, my, the ones in my Kindle, I can make my Echo read to me. I don't want to say Alexa too loud because she'll go off and get crazy. But I have her read to me while I'm crafting. So I'm doing two things at once. <laughs> she forgot to mention that to my sister that I do that too. So. And it's funny, some books I actually enjoy more when I listen to them. I, some of them I don't. I don't. I didn't care for how her tone of voice and she pronounces words wrong. Usually the words she pronounces wrong is like, read can be read depending upon the tense, and she doesn't use the correct tense. <laughs> words like that, that there's one spelling, but more than one pronunciation sometimes she uses the wrong pronunciation and you find yourself at first going what <laughs> but then you realize oh that i know what it is but anyways that's all i've got to share today um I'm trying to get caught up on youtube videos today so i hope you enjoy hearing what i've been reading about um if you're watching the um Holy tiffany organization series i hope you're enjoying that Part of the vlog is that I'm going to try to answer any questions that come up. Um, I, I, the, vlog, the vlog part on Thursdays is still a work in progress. I'm not doing it every week, but I want to try to get more consistent with um, posting. If there's something you'd like to see me cover on my channel, let me know. I can't guarantee I'll do it, but if I... I'm always open to suggestions and just 
trying to provide something besides the craft hauls. While I enjoy doing the craft hauls, and I know people watch them because I know I enjoy watching them. When you're trying to watch your budget, that's not the best thing for your um, entire content. But anyways, thanks for joining me. I'll catch you next time.